Hello people, so this time I'm going to go through how I do my warm-up sketches. I've recorded this step by step and I might speed up some parts but this is the exercise I do most days. You can try to practice like this and see how you go. Over time you will be able to see improvements but that's not what this is about. This is an exercise that is a stress-free way to make lots of mistakes and discoveries about your drawing and I hope that I can help you build your own drawing habit over time. To make this a habit, I find it's best to throw out any ideas of good drawings and instead focus on the drawing act itself. Like me, you might start to find it a great way to see your strengths and weaknesses without judgment. We want to make this exercise a place to play around with ideas, try to try things out to see if we can learn to put things down on paper, um, what we see, and to laugh, cry, or be shocked at our results, and then put it away to do it again the next day. To start the process as you can see I've already started so first of all I go to Pinterest the Pinterest homepage and I start browsing for something I want to practice. This can take some time and I will pick more than I actually need. While I'm browsing I keep in mind an idea of, of what I want to practice which today is figures and I'll sometimes add something completely different and this is just to break things up a bit and keep it a little bit more interesting and engaging. I consider it a wild card pick. I might not always draw it, but it's there if I want to. So what I'm looking for in the image is a couple of things. Because I'm looking for figures this time, obviously I'll need one in some sort of pose that I think will be good to practice. Sometimes the sports images are really good for practicing foreshortening and how the body can twist and turn. But sometimes I'll just pick a nice gentle pose, especially to start with. I will try and find a good variety that way when it comes down to it I have a few choices to pick from and I can ease into the simple poses and then try something a little more difficult. I like to try and find something with the whole body visible but it's not always possible. Sometimes I might just want to focus on a part of the body and therefore a whole figure isn't necessary. But today I want to try and find a few with the whole thing. I also try to find ones where the body is easily seen or without too much clothing unless that's what I want to draw this, that, you know, that particular time, I, which I do sometimes. But I want to see where the parts are in space clearly and sometimes clothing can obstruct that. It can also be a good practice to work out what's going on beneath the clothing but these are just warm up sketches and I don't want that added pressure. So I'll save each one I pick before I drag it onto pure ref in the background. Once I have a good selection of images, I select them all and normalize the sizes by hitting Ctrl, Alt and up arrow. Then Ctrl and P for a better arrangement, that gives a nice placement on the page. And then to set it to grayscale, um, I just use Ctrl, Alt, G. Once I've done that, I can zoom out and I can see what I've got to choose from. You can save this file if you want. Sometimes I do if I have some pictures on there that I really like but didn't get around to drawing this time so I might save it for later. Then once all the preparation is done I can grab some printer paper and two pens or biros or whatever you want to use. I like to use pen more often than not because it seems to stop me from trying to get everything perfect. I know I'm going to make lots of mistakes and I want to learn from them so I need to see them. When I do the warm-ups in pencil I'm more inclined to erase mistakes and try to make things look perfect which can get really frustrating especially when that's the perfection is not happening. So with a pen I have to accept what's on the paper and just work with it. I use two pens, one lighter than the other so I can first scribble and make many 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 mistakes if I have to and then I can use the black pen to reinforce what I want. And these are just cheap pens or borrows or just like I said whatever's laying around it doesn't really matter. So now it's time to get sketching. I write down the current time and choose my first warm-up sketch. I chose something, I chose the one that's a little more gentle um, because I haven't drawn anything over the weekend and I wanted to ease into it without panicking. And I pick up my green biro and while I'm not doing this one, while I'm doing this one, I'm trying not to give myself too much pressure to get it right straight away or at all because honestly that's, that's just not going to happen. So I start to just feel it out and I'm not really worrying about perfection. I've done this exercise a lot so I know to just put that out of my mind which can be really hard at the start but just just look at what you're doing and enjoy what you're doing now. Perfection is not the objective. This is 
These are to relax and just enjoy the process. There are many ways to start out a figure drawing, so whichever way you like is just go with it. And then I bring out my black biro and go over the bits that I like. Uh, I'll still make corrections at this stage if I see them. If I don't see them, then not to worry. It can, if it's really that bad, it can go in the bin. I find the faces harder to do, especially the small. But I just laugh at them if they're, if they're just that bad. Some of them are horrific. I've shown them in the past. But because it's pen, I just have to let any expectation go and just accept it. And that's fine. A lot of what I'm doing is shorthand as far as, you know, putting down any dark tones or anything like that. I'm not really focusing too much on anatomy. I, I don't have a really good knowledge of it. I mean, anyone that does have it and watches this will know that I don't instant, instantly. <laughs> but, you know, these are warm-up sketches. This is just to enjoy the sketching process. I mean, watching this back, I can already see some mistakes. But you see there, I moved the foot back up a little bit because I thought it was in the wrong position. And that's, and that's why I do it with the green biro underneath. I still think the head was a little bit too big, but, you know, whatever. We can continue on. I've sped the rest of this one up a little bit. I draw quite slowly. It's really hard sometimes to get it into the 20... I allow myself 20 minutes, but sometimes I do go over, and that's, that's fine. If it takes me half an hour, it takes me half an hour. I fix up the little toes, and that's it. On to the next one. So with the next one, I've decided to do it... Um, well, the one that was very right next to it because I thought the angle and the foreshortening would be a good challenge. I do enjoy that part of it. It's hard to figure out sometimes, but there's there's a few things that are going on in this picture that, that I can learn from. For instance, the foreshortening camera angle, which makes the head smaller and the foot at the bottom larger because it's closer. That's quite interesting. Then there's the bent leg where the thigh is coming towards us and the calf is and foot is behind. That's all scrunched up, it's all folded up there. And the arms wear their own little challenges. I use, sometimes I'll use cross contours if I'm not sure whether something is coming towards me or away from me. And it's a good place to see, it's a good way to see how, you know, bits and pieces are placed in space if you get confused. I like little challenges like that. She's also got some serious muscles going on in her legs, which is awesome. I do think I could have made her legs a little bit longer, but... Oh well. I'm not really precious. These these aren't precious drawings. These are just ways for me to work things out. I've sped it up now so that we can see the final result, which isn't too bad. But, you know, I'm trying my best not to judge. It's just what it is. That's the exercise. It's, it's also an exercise in just drawing without judging. And that can be really hard to do sometimes. It's, it's always in the back of our head, oh, is this good or is this not good? And it's really hard to let that go. So being able to draw anyway is really important. It's an important skill to, to keep going, I think. Anyway, nearly done with this one. Just some quick shading and on to the next one. So the next sketch I decided to do for a bit of fun, lastly, I, I picked the goat. The reason I picked the goat is because I like to add animals in here and there because I want to be able to draw them too. The fur is a challenge to figure out, but overall it's not too bad. It was actually a relief to do after the two figures. And while I'm doing, while I'm drawing this, I'm still trying to think of how the, the form is in space, the face, you know, coming, coming towards us, that it's not just a flat shape. It is three-dimensional, and that can be really hard to, to get in a sketch sometimes and 
things get out of alignment and get really wonky and that takes practice to to be able to correct that sort of thing and it will come with time so if your pictures are wonky um, don't worry about it just keep going you, you'll be able to eventually you'll be able to see your mistake a little bit more often and a little bit better and you'll be able to make those corrections so I might speed up the rest of it so that you can see I think the basic principle of this exercise has been explained um, I it's it's just it's basically just to have fun it's a practice in letting go of judgments it's a practice in letting yourself make mistakes it's a practice in letting yourself draw badly and accepting that and being able to keep drawing because that's that's what's going to make us get better and some days will be better than others I mean this one was a I would say is a slightly above average day I do think there are problems with the figures but I don't care it's it is what it is I like the goat in the end I do like the goat I was a little bit worried when I was drawing it that I wasn't getting I wasn't getting it down right but in the end it came together and that was surprising and I enjoy those little moments of surprise when something actually does work and I think oh I've learned something I've learned something to be able to draw a goat that looks like a goat my old sketches were horrific but over time it just it just seems to to get better eventually things start to click you just have to get through that period of you just have to get you have just have to be able to accept the bad drawings that's basically it if you can accept the bad drawings and keep going you will get better so my recommendation is to allow yourself, it could be five minutes, it could be 20 minutes, it could be 40 minutes, whatever spare time you have, allow your, just commit to yourself to doing that as many times, as many days during the week as you can. Currently I usually do it five days a week. I like give my weekends off, but that's up to you. And pick your, pick something to draw, pick a few things pick some extra things sometimes I might I'll get only three drawings in usually I only get three drawings in on a page in 20 minutes but sometimes I'll get more I'll spend a little bit more time and I'll do you know four or five but usually it's two or three three being the main um, drawings that I can get in in, tw in approximately 20 minutes and you just keep building on that each day and just remember not to judge it just you're having fun that's it it doesn't matter if it's good or bad it is what it is and you put it away after you've done it and then you do it again the next day and then the next day and then you just keep going. And the reason why I do this on printer paper is because I want to be able to throw it out if I really hate it. I, I don't though because I want to see those really, really bad ones that make me want to throw it out. I want to keep them because then when, you know, a couple of months down the track or even a year later or even if it's just a week later, I want to see the bad one that I did that I was going to throw out and then see the one that I did today and then I can see the improvement. I can see what I learned. I might not have been conscious. It might have, you know, you might not have consciously learned that, but something's changed. You've gotten better. Here are some, I might show some of my other ones, but that's it. So do this, do this every day at least five days a week.